and welcome to the channel in this video I'll show you how to replace your mass airflow sensor and throttle body on a W210 Mercedes-Benz uh, this is a 2001 E320 but um, uh, the the same procedure applies to uh, pretty much most M112 engines with this type of uh, configuration in the engine bay. Uh, so there are six clips on the two sides of the air filter housing uh, and uh, you remove those six, three on the left, three on the right, and then the two clips, one on top, one on the bottom, connecting this cover to the mat. The bottom one is uh, kind of hiding, and it's really easy to unclip it, remove the cover, and this is probably a good time to check your air filter too. And um, and then uh, there's just one screw that holds it to the other side. To loosen that. Now, um, this car has about 84,000 miles, and uh, the MAF was cleaned about 40,000 miles ago, so it's about time to do it again. Uh, undo the uh, electric connector, and then uh, with an E10 uh, socket, remove the one bolt that is connecting um, this entire assembly to the engine and uh, then remove, I mean you can remove the cover earlier but you can remove it now just lift this thing and, uh, and then the hardest part of uh, removal is to find the black tab I'll show you the tab later uh, underneath the throttle body cover okay so uh, I'm using a long pry bar finding it with a flashlight and uh, once I open it and show you you'll you'll notice where it is you just press that and then there is one breather hose this is the thicker of the four or so breather hoses uh, uh, that you have to remove this could be brittle and hard and so be prepared if you know if if it cracks then uh, you may have to replace that and the replacement is not very expensive just a few bucks you can get it from uh, many online shops but uh, uh, you may need to have uh, a set of hose pliers to because it's kind of hard to get your hand there and then you really twist it and remove it as I just did uh, the throttle body itself if you haven't done it for a while you'll notice that uh, there's gunk and dirt and uh, you know all around the butterfly the, the flap itself and you can press the flap from the bottom and uh, and kind of position it horizontally what you need to do is to use some mass airflow cleaner uh, of course after cleaning the sensor itself from both sides um, thoroughly I'm not showing uh, uh, all of it but I probably spent a good uh, four or five minutes cleaning this and you want to let it dry thoroughly uh, before you put it back on but um, uh, then uh, with a clean towel uh, and and um, some generous amounts of uh, uh, the cleaner uh, you want to go to work uh, and, uh, uh, and and clean the, the the flap the butterfly flap um, the edges of it, uh, the the face itself, 
you don't care that much. I mean, you can clean that, but but the frame itself, the circular frame, where the flap touches, and all the edges. Uh, it's kind of hard to show you in the video, but uh, you press the bottom side, and the top the top comes forward, and then you can uh, uh, maneuver to hold it somehow back, and then with a couple of fingers and then with the other two clip, clean the flap uh, as you see me do right here and do that to both ends of it, the top and bottom uh, so spend a little time cleaning this um, and uh, so I mean if you experience rough idle, I mean uh, first of all you should do it um, uh, regularly every 30 40,000 miles or so but also if you experience rough idle um, and uh, the hesitation you'll experience this is heavy duty uh, silicone uh, sprayer uh, the rubber gaskets this was kind of hard and brittle so I don't want to don't want to take it out there are taps and grooves that that you align that to I mean the rubber gasket itself has taps and and then the you align it with the holes or the grooves to uh, if, if yours comes out easy uh, if it's still rubbery this one was kind of hard I may have to replace that in the future but um, so uh, if there is any hesitation um, at idle then one of the first things you want to do is to uh, to clean the throttle body in the math uh, sensor uh, and uh, of course you may get some codes too that that would refer you to this uh, now when you press this back in you'll hear a distinct click um, that uh, will tell you that this is uh, uh, well seated and then uh, press the hose back on and really uh, the job is done but um, if you have an OBD2 uh, scanner and the right software and, and can see the can read the live data then you want to see what the uh, math uh, flow is uh, usually is shown in grams per um, second or uh, uh, kilograms per hour uh, and so uh, you want it to be closer to five uh, for uh, these engines and uh, so then uh, the installation is just the reverse of uh, what you did before to undo everything and uh, and you'll notice if you haven't done it uh, for the last 30 40 thousand miles or if you did notice uh, or do notice uh, um, hesitation or, or rough idle then uh, then you'll you'll uh, see a huge difference afterwards uh, especially at idle but um, uh, reserve about an hour and a half or so of time if you haven't done this before like I said the hardest part is to find that tab with a good light you can find it easily I uh, just know that it's right in the bottom, so there are two hooks, you know, that, that uh, holds it, holds the uh, throttle body cover uh, to the back of the engine. And so you'll find the tab and press it down as you're pushing it away towards the uh, firewall. And then kind of lift it up. Um, uh, so it's held on top and bottom by two uh, tabs or brackets or whatever you want to call them and uh, hopefully I was able to capture everything here that you'll need to do yours and uh, and hopefully you'll find this uh, video of use and um, talk to you soon bye bye